Well, the way that inequality has played out in the United States, you've seen the top pulling apart, pulling away from the middle and the bottom part of the income distribu distribution. This means that some folks are getting more and more of the gains of the growth in our economy, while the middle class has seen their income stagnate. They haven't seen a lot of growth, and they haven't seen a lot of gains for the efforts that they've been putting in at the workplace. The middle class is the heartbeat of our economy. The middle class is the, the, they're the great U.S. consumer. If you don't have a strong middle class, you don't have a strong consumer to demand all those goods and services that the middle class goes out and creates through, through their jobs. But there, it's deeper than that. Without a strong middle class, you don't have the political will for a strong education system or for investments in infrastructure, the kinds of investments that benefit us all. As you see societies um, pull apart more and have more and more wealthy people that don't have that connection to the middle class, they can opt out of public services, send their kids to private school and get their private jets. When you have a strong middle class, you have a sense that we're all in this together. There's not going to be one single bullet that's going to fix the problems facing some America's middle class, but there's a variety of things that we need to do. It starts by making sure that we pull our economy out of the Great Recession, that we get people back to work. Without jobs, you won't have a strong middle class. But then we need to go further. We need to make those kinds of investments in our communities, through infrastructure, through uh, increasing education, and through making sure that everyone benefits from economic growth. Thank you